temporary location change, so the sound is going to be different. And the appearance. Uh, this is quite unusual. I thought initially when I saw this in Poundland that this was a solar light, but in reality, if I blow in this, it turns out that their spinning tulip is a VAWT, a VOT, a vertical access wind turbine. And I thought it'd be quite interesting if I pull this bit off here, if I pull it off, uh, the construction has a little clip-on uh, support that is quite tight, and but it clips on, and then it's got a little rubbery end cap to hold it in place. But I thought it'd be quite interesting taking this rivet out of here and then spreading it flat to see what this looks like when it's actually laid flat, because they've from a sheet of flat material, they've basically created this sort of three-dimensional turbine shape. So I'm going to do that right now. One moment, please. And this is what it looks like when you take the rivet out and lay it flat. Uh, so something that's worth mentioning about vertical axis wind turbines versus the traditional horizontal axis ones, those, those are the ones you see in traditional wind farms, is that it doesn't matter what way the air flows by, even turbulent air will actually make them operate, so they're better suited to some applications. They can also be made quite easily and scaled down, and if I... Put the links down in the description for you to follow for the Savonius turbines and the Darius turbines. You'll suddenly realise that you've seen these about before. Uh, they, they find their way into unusual applications. And it's certainly it's an interesting area to explore. It's a bit of a rabbit hole. You'll end up exploring the internet quite a lot for that. And YouTube has plenty of videos, but keep an open mind when you look at them because some of them are trying to present them as somewhat better than they are in some instances. But it's an interesting subject. Vertical axis wind turbines, now apparently available from Poundland.